So I just want to show you that everybody is showing that you got to remove your sway bar link and you got to remove your tie rod end to put your, your lift kit on your forerunner. And I went through and I did do this and I didn't get the lift I wanted out because I was using these Bill Steins. And these are the actual forerunner um, shocks. I don't know where they, the actual uh, number is on it, but I'm using those with the o, OME 881s. Eight there's the part number there that, that I'm using. So these are the ones actually designed for the forerunner, and they have the four clips. Uh, position clips for for the adjustability and when I got it on my my height was a little lower than what I wanted I was getting a little rubbing on my fender flare um, so so I went and I moved it up a clip on the other side and it gives me you know enough lift and I'm not rubbing or anything now and what I wanted to just let you guys know is everybody's saying break your ball joint break your tie rod end or take this way bar link and stuff off well Here's all I did, and I got this from uh, the uh, nether side uh, a YouTuber, uh, Tim the Toolman, when he's doing them. And he, and he puts his jack from the truck in here and pushes down on the control arm. And I was able to take it off, you know, adjust the, the bottom bolt, slid right out. The upper ones loosened them, pulled it right out. And, and this thing slid right out without having to sit here and screw around with all these extra steps so you know if, if you're doing a lift on these all i can tell you and you're using the factory well they the, the shock design for the forerunner don't waste your time pulling off the tie rod ends and the sway bar links and popping ball joints and stuff you don't need to do it you just need to remove the lower bolt and the upper bolts on this so after I get this spring swapped out I didn't I didn't actually uh, change this one yet I gotta I gotta tighten them things down and, and change the clip on this one but I'll, I'll show you that I am not removing any of that stuff and this thing will slip right back in without an issue